we do a lot of work philanthropically here in Atlanta. Uh, as a financial advisor, I work here in Atlanta and do a lot of financial planning, both uh, with athletics and within the NFL and then with executives around Atlanta. And that gives me an opportunity to really pour into people's lives. You know, I mean, it's more than just numbers and dollars and cents, but it's a lot of it's based on helping people achieve whatever it is that's important to them, their great goals. And that's been really rewarding. It's been a career, but it's also been a passion. Spartan Pride for me has been uh, rooting for the team regardless of the outcome. Spartan Pride's always having a, a force to rally around with other Spartans. And, um, you know, just continuing to reinforce that what the university is doing around the world and around the globe. The Spartans, for me, I mean, that's where I met my wife. So, uh, you know, Spartan for me has kind of been the beginning of a pretty great journey. Um, and, and when I watch our Spartan teams and the reputation that they've been able to garner the last you know, handful of years, they kind of emulate that in terms of character and hard work and ethics and all that good stuff. Yeah, I believe it is part of being a Spartan and it's, it's beyond being a Spartan. I would hope um, you know, going out of your way and doing for others and uh, giving back, I think, is uh, you know, that's 2,000 year old good advice. So anytime you can make the world a better place and kind of um, you know, reach out to other people unselfishly, I think that's you know, why we're here. Spartans will persevere, Spartans will overcome, um, Spartans will do what it takes to get the job done, and they'll do it with integrity, and they'll do it with, um, they'll do it with integrity, and, and they'll do it with the kind of character that it's not always about the results, but it's the journey, and it's how they're doing it that makes them so makes us so proud of them as fans on the sports side, or even as as the Spartans I know out there in the business world, it certainly is nice to come across those kind of people with that approach. It makes them weird, it makes them a little different, but it certainly is. Nice. I got a lot more from Michigan State than my degree. And so obviously the degree was like a prerequisite, but one of the greatest things I got out of Michigan State was all the other relationships and the extracurriculars and the way that university tied me into things like student government, and fraternities, and even intramural athletics and things along those lines that sent me out into the world being able to handle it well socially, be socially adjusted, and do it from a good platform. Yeah, my favorite memory was uh, February 24th, and it was uh, 1990, and I got invited to a blind date at the Chi Omega House. So I knew my odds were good that I was going to meet a cute girl that night, but I had no expectations. And uh, let's see, that was 17 years ago. So maybe I got my date a little off, but 17 years ago. So it wasn't 1990, it was 1994, 17 years ago. And uh, three kids later, 10 years of marriage, it's worked out okay.